What the heck, you might ask when looking at the Ichimoku Cloud Indicator for the first time. Yeah, I get it. It's not the cleanest trading setup. But what if I told you there's a way that makes pullback trading with this indicator very simple and effective? Hi traders. Let's add the Ichimoku Cloud Indicator to our trading view chart and take a closer look at what it is in the first place. I believe some of you might not be familiar with it. You're welcome to skip this part through time codes provided. Also known as Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, is a popular technical analysis tool in the world of trading. It originated in Japan and provides a comprehensive view of potential support and resistance, trend direction, and momentum all in one chart. The Ichimoku Cloud consists of several components, including Kijun Sen baseline. This is a moving average representing the average price over the past 26 periods. Tenkan Sen conversion line. This is a shorter term moving average calculated over the past nine periods. Senku span, leading span A. This is the midpoint between the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen plotted 26 periods ahead. Senku span B, leading span B. This is the midpoint of the highest high and lowest low over the past 52 periods, plotted 26 periods ahead. Kumo, cloud. The area between Senku span A and Senku span B. The cloud represents potential support and resistance levels. Traders use the Ichimoku cloud to identify trends, potential reversal points, and to generate trading signal. Crossovers of the conversion line and baseline, as well as the price with the cloud, are commonly used signals. We will exclude the lagging span line from our strategy and set its period to 1. This adjustment is made to bring the Kumo cloud action closer to the current time. Let's also make some visual adjustments for a better visibility. The rules of this strategy are quite simple. To enter a long position, we need the price to break above the cloud. Next, we're looking for the pullback, price rejection, and candle close above the blue conversion line while it's above the red baseline. The same principle applies for a short entry, price below the cloud, pullback and rejection, candle close below the blue conversion line while it's below the red baseline, while the classic 1 to 2 risk reward ratio would stop loss below the most recent low or above the high works for this setup too. As an alternative, you can also place your stop loss below the baseline and trail your profit as long as the price stays above it for long trades and below for shorts. Exit once the candle closes above or below the baseline, depending on the trade direction. Indicators don't have to be very complex to be effective. In fact, it's usually the opposite. The simpler your setup, the fewer chances you'll get lost among the signals. Ichimoku Cloud is one of those indicators where you can keep removing lines, and you can still make use of it. If you're more into traditional indicators and moving average trading, you can check out my recent strategy video here, right now.